Okay, guys, early morning. Treating myself to uh, a little lift kit. Going over to the dealership today. And uh, I probably don't really need it. Just kind of one of those stupid things, still a kid at heart kind of thing. Uh, this thing did every uh, trail that I wanted it to do. Uh, went to Colorado with it last year uh, without any hiccups, just the way it is. Uh, there was one trail we did up in Tennessee, uh, the Nemo train tunnel. Got through the tunnel okay, but then uh, going uh, on the exit trail, going out, we did bottom out twice, where, where I think a little bit more uh, lift would have helped out. So uh, they offer uh, ready lift, spacer lift. I realize it's not the best, but it's the only thing to keep warranty intact. Uh, the dealership says that uh, it's the only one they're allowed to do by Toyota, that's what they told me. And uh, in order to keep my warranty okay, they can put that lift in. It's their most popular seller. It's a 3 2. They put three in the front, two in the back. It levels it off as well. And it's a spacer that just goes down uh, you know, above the shock. There's there's a bunch of different videos online that show you these things. So here's the, uh, this is the before. There's our measurement there. It looks like uh, yeah, 34 and a half to the bottom of the fender in the front. And we've got, uh, looks like 37 and a quarter or so in the back. So. We'll see, I'll do one when it's done. They said they'll have it most of the day. And uh, we'll get back to you. Hey guys, here we are. I had the uh, Forerunner in the dealership the other day. I got the lift kit that I was uh, mentioning earlier. They had it all day. Uh, this is, uh, I'll show you the measurements where we're at now. It was 34 and a half yesterday. And today we're at, uh, around 37 and a half in the front and I believe it was 37 and a quarter on the rear and now we're at about 39 and a half uh, again this is a uh, spacer lift they put a spacer in the uh, above the coil spring and then they do a uh, spacer right there you can see and you get three inches in the front, so it acts as a leveling kit. And they put a two inch spacer in the back, so it levels it. Uh, undecided on the tires here, I'm gonna back up, and give you a distant shot of it here. Uh, these are the stock size. I changed to BFGs, of course, for off-roading. But uh, they're the 265, 70, 17s. Uh, I know they're looking a little small in there. But the problem is, is the, the 275 would be all right. The 285s will rub right here. Almost everybody I see online, the mud flap rubs, and you may have to trim in the front. It's really not something I wanted to get involved in. I may think about it, but right now I'm gonna leave it like this for a little while because I was pricing it on tire rack. Even to go to the 275s, you're looking at $1,245 and it's an inch. It's, at best, it's an inch bigger, uh, you know, height-wise. And I just don't know if it's worth it. But uh, I am satisfied with the lift. Uh, out the door, it was uh, 1100 bucks installed, and that was with an alignment. Uh, I know people will say I could have got shocks and different lift for that kind of money, and they're probably right. The problem is, is warranty. Warranty is big, this is a 2021. So I'm getting close to my three year 36, but I still have a five year 60,000 powertrain. And I don't wanna mess with that. And if you start getting, people will say, oh, well, adding, adding add-ons and things like that doesn't ruin your warranty. Well, that's not entirely true. I talked to the warranty department at the dealer and they told me that uh, the factory warranty is against manufacturer defect. Okay, so if you put a lift kit in and your stereo breaks, of course, it's going to be covered. You put a lift kit in and depending on what kind of lift, 
on this particular one, I would think if a shock goes, it's probably going to be covered. But if you put a lift kit in and the Toyota determines that the drive shaft angle now is not so great and the transmission goes, well, they're going to make that, that call. If you're lucky, it's not a problem. If you're not lucky, it's a fight. I don't want the fight. <laughs> it's one of those things where you can't beat the giant city hall. And uh, I don't want to get into that. So with this, I won't have any warranty issues. It was done by the dealer. I have my receipt. The dealer's warrantying it. Auto Nations everywhere. And they even told me that Toyota uh, shouldn't have a problem with it as well. Again, they use the word shouldn't because it's only really a two-inch leveling kit in the front. So that's the reason I went with this instead of shocks. I realize it. I do feel it just in yesterday. It's a little bit firmer. Uh, not much. Uh, it's perfectly comfortable on the road, but firmer is the last thing you'd want it if you wanted to go on a trail. But I go so infrequently. I'm mostly on the highways to take on my road trips. So I'm sure I can live with it. Uh, I did order some rock sliders, uh, RSG rock sliders that are coming. Because uh, the extra two inches, my wife's jumping, <laughs> having trouble reaching up there. So uh, we're going to use them as a step. But I'm happy with it. It looks pretty good. Uh, like I said again, I'm probably going to stick with these tires for a while. This is the front end look. Definitely noticeable in the front, which is what I wanted. And the tires don't look too bad. But there is a lot of space, especially in the rear. But a 275, if you look at the charts online, it's it's an inch at best. And I know visually, I guess maybe that'll help, but I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Maybe if I go to the 285s, the price is pretty much the same. Actually, the 285s were like $20 cheaper a tire. Uh, I just don't know if I want to get into trimming and removing the mud flap because the mud flap is you know i don't want stones going up hitting the i have a dark blue uh vehicle and the chips and the paint you know i wish i had gotten white or silver now that i look you know now that i've been on trails with it because it shows every uh every little scratch you get but so that's it uh they had it all day it's a decent ride it's worth it for the money and uh i'm pretty satisfied with it so far all right, thanks for watching, and uh, pretty soon we'll be back on the road again, I hope. Hopefully next, uh, hopefully by February we'll be back on the road, at least taking a, a road trip up north. I don't know if we're going to have a big one going just yet, but uh, soon. We're just waiting for our house repairs to get done from Hurricane Ian, and then hopefully we'll have, uh, we'll keep throwing some more content at you. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.